What's up, peepees, aka Black Peoples? Uh, so today I have a huge package here. It's from Indonesia. My address is here, so anyways. Uh, it's been a long process and so I'm just gonna do a little unboxing and kind of show you what is in this box. I did a group order and so not all these plants are mine, okay? So let's get started. I just hope when I open this, there's no thrips in here because all my plants are doing so fine right now. And yes, here we go. Ooh, I can smell that like plants. Here's what it looks like inside the box. So this was my first import I did on my own. I was a little ballsy and actually did a group order as well. I really wanted to order from Planteria, so that's what I did. It was pretty crazy. I don't think I would actually do it again. There was a lot of work involved. I had over 70 plants. Really unexpected, but I'm glad I did it. It was a really good learning experience and now I know how importing works. We're having a heat wave here in Vancouver, so we decided to pay more for overnight shipping. It was worth it because we got the plants in one day pretty much, and we didn't want to risk the package being stuck at customs for like two to three weeks like DHL or UPS. Excuse the mess, but oh my god, you guys. There's already, there's over 70 plants, and that's mine here, but like, my living room is a freaking mess right now. Like, I cannot. I am so paranoid of like pests here because like, yes, they should be clean, but at the same time, I don't know. Anyways, I'm opening up the plants, A, because there are a possibility of uh, seeds um, hidden inside these plants. And I don't know if they're in the root fall or I just I I would like to keep these unopened just because hey these are people's plants and they're not mine but I just need to harvest my seeds because they're not here and I'm just checking the wellness of the plants this is a alocasia Jacqueline. Looks pretty good. It's just like sandwich in between um, tissue, but it is very, very soft and limp. But that's that's what you get for for importing, right? Like it's not, it's never going to be as what you want it to be, and sometimes you might lose some. Unfortunately, that's the nature of of uh, importing. I'm just being very careful not to cut the plant itself. I'm like sweating doing this. I feel like I'm, I'm performing surgery. Okay, so this one is the Alocasia Black Infernalis. Shape than the Jacqueline. 
for sure. Wow, I wasn't recording this whole time. Anyways, this is the Silver Tattoo Skin Box. And I've been talking to myself for the past 10 minutes because I thought my camera was on. But I was saying, most of these plants so far look okay. I mean, like, yeah, they look a little soft. However, it really depends what plant it is. And this is partially the reason why I like uh, importing Anthuriums because anthuriums have thick roots, thick foliage. That's why I love them. This is the Syngonium T25. It's alive. It definitely is alive. Um, it's very pretty though. I love this leaf. This one's so pretty. Hopefully it'll be okay. I don't know about this tissue thing. I think I feel like it sucks the life out of these plants. So I'm not I'm not gonna wrap some back up. I like how um, where's my tape? I keep losing my tape. I like how tropicals packs their plants. Um, yeah, I, I think their packing is great. So that is that for one person's order. I don't even have the space for it, but she had three epiprenum elbows, homolea, two homoleans, four. Yes. And I'm gonna keep going. Number four. And who is number five? This is a Hoya Ake. Look at this. This is freaking crazy. Like, hello? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Like, look at this size. It's freaking massive. I'm so scared of bugs still. Hoya Ake. I say. Ake. I don't know. I don't know how to uh, pronounce this. This is the bag that I was gonna put this in and like, it does not fit. Like, does not fit. I have a Anthurium Ace of Spades, Anthurium Papilaminum, and a Monster Adesonia Knit. Ace of spades. Um, a little soft, but that's okay. Okay, and 
everything is so messy right now. I feel like I'm on a time crunch and I don't have enough time to open everything. Found it. And there you have Pepperland. Looks good. It is alive. Holy smokes, like everyone's like, oh my god, I only have like 5.30. I'm so screwed. This is like crazy. At least it's not melted. Looks very nice. Pearl, I can tell you now that your freaking Musa is gonna be absolutely stunning like the bag is big I have a good feeling about it and I'm going to also take a picture of it what the freaking oh my god what the hell are you freaking joking me right now oh my god I need to send this to you right now yeah sorry I freaked out about that one. I need to I definitely had to take a photo of that one. It was absolutely stunning. Like, hello? This is freaking huge. Like, okay, there's bugs on it, but you know, like, how do you, how do you sell this for, how much did we pay for this? $25 US? Like, are you freaking joking me right now? You're joking. You are joking. I really hope I don't get pests. Oh, super cute. Look at that. The leaves are so round. Isn't that adorable? Cute. Like, I wish my silver hope looked like that. But it doesn't. The most prehistoric looking leaf ever. Because we paid for air cargo shipping, we got our package within two days. All the plants did arrive alive, none were dead, thankfully. The plants were in good condition, however, they did have some pests. Some of them had scales, some of them also had mealybugs as well. There weren't too many that had issues, but it was still something that we needed to pay attention to.
My regular routine when I get plants is I spray it down with insecticide and really massage it into every nook and cranny and do a thorough inspection before I pot everything up. Next, I trim away any dead or loose roots. I know some people like to trim everything off. I mean, I would like to, but I feel like I don't have that kind of confidence in rerooting from fresh. After trimming the roots, sometimes I do add mycorrhizae, but for this batch of imports, I did not. Right here with the king of spades, I am potting it into pond right away. I do have extra additives in there. There was a request for a pond video, so I will have that coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. When I repot philodendrons, I usually pot them in moss. I do add additives to my substrate, so my go-tos are large perlite and asteroid size perlite, some orchiata, um, some perlite, small and large balls. The whole process of sorting and meeting up with people just took so long. I was super drained, so I just decided to do uh, regular sphagnum moss. Maybe when the plants are more established, I will change it to my chunkier mix. Even though I was lazy with potting everything up, I still had some plants that were sitting in water just because they were super long and I needed to get it up on a pole. I also ran out of sphagnum moss, so I had to get some and pot them up the next day. I didn't get a chance to take a picture or record a lot of the plants, but here are some of my favorites. Yeah, I've reached the end of the video as always thank you for those who stuck around if you did like this video please give it a green thumbs up comment and subscribe if you have any questions please do leave it in the comment section down below if you have any special requests or videos that you'd like to see please do not hesitate and let me know I really hope you enjoyed seeing these beautiful plants that were imported from Indonesia. Please go and follow Planteria on Instagram and connect with Ilham. He's definitely a trustworthy and very helpful with the whole process. I truly recommend this seller. Thank you once again and I will talk to you soon.